Oh, it's cold outside. It is way too cold for me. The cold is really something when you decide to stay up until 2 a.m. editing a video and then waking up around 7 a.m. because that's when you gotta get up to go to work. So it may not be that that cold, but it is way too cold for me right now. I can't handle it. Oh, I forgot my coffee. Now that's better. You know, I know I said I was going to be drinking one cup of coffee a day, and I have been. But today, maybe a two cup of coffee day, just because I'm tired. That's the only reason. But if I get, get into work now that I'm here, and I get rolling, and I don't feel like I need any more coffee, then I'll, then I'll probably be good. But other than that, I feel like I've been keeping a decent schedule. And I'd like to believe I continue to do so throughout the week, starting off with, remember how my hard drive was completely filled up? Well, I sat down, did a little bit of research, spent a little time running through my hard drive, and I found what was wrong. I found what was filling up 115, 120 gigabytes of space. Check this out. I swear this is gonna be the most satisfying thing here in a sec. Y'all remember when I was doing the, uh, I think I was showing off my first program I ever coded video, and I showed y'all this, where my local disc was like completely filled up. This folder right here is a little bit lighter than all of the rest, and so is this one right here a little bit lighter than all the rest, because that one's one of the hidden folders, the app data. And basically when I come here and I right click on properties, check that out. 125 gigabytes in app data. So what I did was I ran through everything in app data and then it was media cache files. So check this out. Media cache files is 118 gigabytes. So what we're going to do is come here, I'm going to control A, bop, and then we're going to right click. And we're going to delete. And then we have it saying, oh, this is way too much to go into the recycle, so do we want to permanently delete? Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's such a good feeling. Just having actual hard drive space, because before, when it was filled all the way up, my game would crash, Premiere would crash, I would make sure I saved all the time. So it's nice, I still do save, but it's nice to be able to run a program, play a game, and not have to worry about it crashing because I didn't have any storage on my computer. And for those of you who noticed that I uploaded my last video, the open source computer science degree on Saturday, instead of my normal upload schedule of Friday, there was actually a very good reason for that. One, on Thursday, I officially started the transition. I, that was my first day on this contract that I've been telling you guys about, the Angular Java big enterprise application work. I was just setting up my whole entire workspace that whole day, getting used to a little bit of the code base, trying to figure out what I want to do because this, this is straight up software engineering. We're doing agile methodology, we have sprints, we have stand-ups every morning. In the stand-ups, we talk about what we did yesterday, what we plan to do today, and are we stuck on anything, any roadblocks. And let me tell you, it's a good feeling to be a part of the team and be on the same project as everybody else. Also, Thursday night, I had a work meeting. <laughs> it's funny to call this a meeting because it was, it was kind of like a work event where it was like a networking event because like I said, we're at a startup, so we do more than just software engineering as software engineers. And this is also one thing we did. Yeah, that right there is a pilot boat. For someone who's lived on the coast and in and out of the water my whole entire life, that was pretty cool. Now let's address the elephant in the room. That is the YouTube subscriber counter that I've been working on. Now. I haven't shown you any in this video, and that's intentional. I didn't spend as much time this past week working on it, but the little bit that I did do, I, I can confidently say that it'll be done by this time next week, meaning there'll be a video all about coding and assembling the YouTube subscriber counter next week. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I actually am thinking about posting a little, uh, a little sneak peek or or maybe a picture of the finished product once it's finished over there prior to the video uploading. So uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, that's a little self plug there, always down in the description below. 
But there may be an extra video coming out next week. Now, I don't know if there will. I'm not sure how I want to structure this. But that video about the YouTube subscriber counter is going to be from beginning to end. That's why I'm not including any of it in this video because I don't I just want all of that to be consolidated into one video. And that not that may not be part of this series. I may have another video on top of that, which is essentially similar to this. Hopefully I can record a little bit more of the day-to-day -day life instead of sitting here talking about it after the fact, but that's neither here nor there. A lot of what I do is just talk, so <laughs> that, that explains it. But I'll figure it out a little bit later this week how exactly I want to go about these videos. One being the YouTube subscriber counter being one video. We're not counting Friday's video because that should be up anyway, next Friday that is. But the extra video, the, the potential third video for next week will be something to announce, some type of giveaway. If you didn't know, we just passed 50,000 subscribers. And I think that's freaking awesome. I couldn't, I, the, my goal last year, I've told y'all this before, the end of 2018 was to get 10,000 subscribers. We are within the first month of 2019 and we just passed 50,000 subscribers. So, so incredibly grateful. I want to do some sort of giveaway. I just don't know what to give away. So if you would, leave a comment down below. What should I give away? Say like, I think you should give away X or something like that. So I know you're talking about the giveaway. I'd really appreciate it because I don't know what y'all could use. I don't even know what I could use, so how am I supposed to know what you could use? <laughs> so look out for that video sometime next week. Like I said, I'll figure out the structure of it later this week. If you didn't already check out my open source computer science degree video, be sure to do that. And I also think y'all will really like this Friday's video. I'm not sure if it's going to be Friday or Saturday. Y'all seem to really like the Saturday upload video, so maybe I'll just upload it on Saturdays. I don't know. But Friday or Saturday video, I'm really stoked for, so hope you guys enjoy that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like it if you did. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. This video in particular is part of a series that I'm doing, which is essentially tracking me progressing towards my 2019 goals throughout 2019. And this is episode three, two, three. Hell if I know. Until next time, guys. Have a good one. Peace.